Actually, speaking of Hollywood, I'm going to sum it up. I watched the movie Freedom, uh, Sound of Freedom. My beloved Tim Bella, I want to say one thing. I want to say from the bottom of my heart, God bless you and bless your family for being a hero and going and putting yourself in danger of being killed and God knows what else in order to save a soul of that innocent child. I salute you. A very special thank you to our beloved Mel Gibson and Jim Caviezel for producing such a powerful movie yet based on true facts, real life events. Actually, when I watched the movie, I, I was angry. I was, my blood was boiling and my eyes were shedding tears. I'll say this to every human being that hurts innocent little children. You are a coward. You are a coward. And if I see you, I'll bury you with my own hands. I will bury you alive with my own hands. Shame on you. Because you are not a man, you're a coward. But you know what's so sad? Because governments are aware of this evilness. And they're supporting it. Did you know, according to this movie, which is all facts, 850,000 children disappear in America alone every year. Every year, 850,000 being sacrificed to Satan. These evil doers, these Satan worshippers, they are cowards. If they are the elites or the Freemasons, I don't give one penny about them. They are cowards. How dare you? You kill such little... Sick, sick people. 40,000 children disappear here in Australia every year. And the one who was heading that investigative team, he said, I am shocked because I have 27 names on this paper here in front of me. He said, some of the names in this list are ex-prime ministers of this nation. Ex-prime ministers. Anyone who hurts an elderly person and a young child is a coward, is an evildoer. Because enough of this evilness, little innocent children, you evildoers, you cowards, you traitors, you... If I see them in front of me, I'll lose it. I'll finally use my red belt in karate. If I get the chance, I will rescue those children myself and let them kill me. I don't care.